Fenway Park used to have a trash problem. On game day, 35,000 men, women, and children converged on a very densely populated urban neighborhood to watch the world champion Red Sox. By the end of the game, trash created by these 35,000 fans filled overflowing trash barrels. The streets, sidewalks, and gutters were strewn with trash. Very pleased to have Big Belly here now, which is roughly the same size as, as the old trash barrels here, but it, but it handles about six times the amount of trash. It's a lot easier to approach a, a trash can when, when you don't see trash overflowing from it. On average, each American produces 30 pounds of waste per week. And to collect that trash, you need to use trash trucks, which get two to three miles per gallon and burn 20 million gallons of fuel every week. There is a better way. This is Big Belly, the world's first and only solar-powered trash compaction system. It's intended to go in a street level or kind of public space area. Uh, think of places outside of a coffee shop, in a pedestrian mall, on a street corner, in a park setting. Inside the Big Belly, there are sensors that look at the height of the trash to determine when the bin is full. Big Belly even has a wireless monitoring system to alert staff when it's ready for pickup. This smart technology allows managers to monitor collection activity from any computer, optimizing collection efficiency and maximizing savings. We have about 5,000 Big Bellies out in the field today, and we're saving tons and tons of CO2 emissions every year based on reduced frequency of collection. In Philadelphia, by dropping the collections required from 17 times a week to five times a week, they were able to cut their emissions from the trash trucks by 80%. This means 80% less money spent on fuel, and that directly reduces imported oil, airborne particulates, and climate-changing greenhouse gases. Fewer trucks on the streets also means less traffic and road wear. The city of Philadelphia used to have 33 employees picking up trash. It's down to now nine and the rest of those employees are, have been redeployed elsewhere in the city to do other functions. Staff can fix up buildings, repair roadways, and help make our investment in our communities go farther. A typical street side trash can is anywhere between $1,000 to $1,500. Typically, there's a, about a two year payback for, for a, a city or, or town who's buying these. This is all accomplished with the power of the sun. Big Belly's built-in solar panel provides 100% of its energy. There's no wiring necessary. It's completely self-sufficient. Got a solar panel integrated on the top, so it generates its own power. It's got a battery inside, so it stores its own power. It can work in direct sunlight. It can work in full shade. It can work on a cloudy day. And what we were able to do was power the thing so efficiently that we could run compaction on the street level, which is something that had never been able to done before. We had the benefit of incubator space at Olin College. We had the benefit of faculty support and business planning competitions at Babson. It allowed us to grow our business, to get the funding we needed, and to get the proof of concepts developed so that we could really launch a company. Having incubators in our society where people from the engineering world and the business world can come together and foster new innovations is incredibly important and is really what's going to spur the innovation to get us to the next level to make a more sustainable society. It's important for engineers to know more than just the math and science and physics behind engineering. One of the things that Olin College stressed was the interdisciplinary approach to engineering. Getting with Babson students and working on the business side of things, working with Wellesley College students on the kind of humanitarian side of things, and really getting out from, from the lab and learning about what the impact of the things you're you're developing has on the world as a whole. It's been really rewarding to see the idea we had back in 2003 germinate into a company that now has 5,000 trash compactors worldwide in 46 states and 30 different countries. The result, a win-win situation, a better experience for the fans, happy neighborhood residents, and cleaner streets and sidewalks, made that way by Big Belly, the world's only solar-powered trash compactor.